Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. Question says, show that definite integral from 0 to a fx gx dx is equal to 2 multiplied by definite integral from 0 to a fx dx. If f and g are defined as fx is equal to f a minus x and gx plus g a minus x is equal to 4. Let us now start with the solution. Now we are given that fx is equal to f a minus x. And gx plus g a minus x is equal to 4. Now this implies gx is equal to 4 minus g a minus x. Now definite integral from 0 to a fx gx dx is equal to definite integral from 0 to a f a minus x 4 minus g a minus x dx. Clearly we can see fx is equal to f a minus x. So we can write fx as f a minus x and we know gx is equal to 4 minus g a minus x. So we can substitute 4 minus g a minus x for gx. Now this further implies definite integral from 0 to a fx gx dx is equal to definite integral from 0 to a f a minus x dx multiplied by 4 minus definite integral from 0 to a f a minus x multiplied by g a minus x dx. We can write this integral as difference of these two integrals. Now we know this integral can be written as 4 multiplied by definite integral 0 to a fx dx. Here we have used this property of definite integrals and we will write this integral as it is. That is definite integral from 0 to a f a minus x g a minus x dx. Now let us consider integral from 0 to a f a minus x g a minus x dx. Now put a minus x equal to y. Now differentiating both the sides with respect to x we get minus dx is equal to dy. The new limits are when x is equal to 0, y is equal to a and when x is equal to a, y is equal to 0. Now we can write this integral is equal to definite integral from a to 0 fy gy minus dy. We know a minus x is equal to y and dx is equal to minus dy. And as x varies from 0 to a, y varies from a to 0. Now this integral is further equal to negative of definite integral a to 0 fy gy dy. Now it is further equal to definite integral from 0 to a fy gy dy. 
here we have used this property of definite integral now using this property of definite integral this integral is further equal to definite integral from 0 to a fx gx dx so we get definite integral from 0 to a f a minus x g a minus x dx is equal to definite integral from 0 to a fx gx dx now let us name this expression as 1 now we will substitute this integral for this integral in expression 1 now expression 1 becomes definite integral from 0 to a fx gx dx is equal to 4 multiplied by definite integral from 0 to a fx dx minus definite integral from 0 to a fx gx dx now this implies 2 multiplied by definite integral from 0 to a fx gx dx is equal to 4 multiplied by definite integral from 0 to a fx dx adding this integral on both the sides of this expression we get this expression now dividing both the sides by 2 we get definite integral from 0 to a fx dx dx is equal to 2 multiplied by definite integral from 0 to a fx dx now this completes our proof so we can write hence proved this completes the session hope you understood the solution take care and have a nice day.